What's up, YouTube? It's Codemaster Hard Rock back at it again with another trading card game video. Now, the reason why I say trading card game video uh, <laughs> is because this may or may not have something to do with Chaotic, something to do with other games, but if you ask me, I think this has to do a little bit with Chaotic in the sense of there will be tournaments in the future and all that, and you guys should know what to bring with you to a tournament. So I'm going to work from my left side of the mat to the right side of my mat. And when we get towards the end, I will showcase everything you need by the end of this video. So we're going to hop right into it with what's on my immediate left and such. And the first thing that I can think of to quote Team APS, for those of you who don't know, they're a YouTube channel, is money. Uh, go figure, as they say, dead presidents will get you pretty far in a tournament. You're going to want to bring some money with you to a tournament, whether it is for entry to get into a tournament, to buy some goodies, some cards, sleeves, you name it. You're going to want to buy some stuff. So there you go. Bring some money for, you know, your tournaments. Now next, this is what I'll say is a pretty essential item to bring with you to a tournament is a notepad and something to write with um, because a lot of the times if you're in a tournament a lot of people a lot of judges I should say will go with the person whoever physically wrote down like the uh, life points energy count where it comes from whether it's from attack or music um, or some other arbit arbitrary uh, card so yeah bring a notepad and something to write with uh, I don't necessarily recommend a Sharpie. I recommend either like a pencil or a pen. Uh, I argue a pencil is probably more desired in this case. Mostly so that way, in case you goof up math, you can erase it and correct yourself. Uh, and so that way people will know, yeah, that's an obvious correction. Now, the next thing is, as I'm recording on the phone... You're going to want to need something to charge your phone with or your social device. For me, I have a portable charger. Of course, you could bring a normal brick charger. But for me, I bring a portable charger because a lot of the times the outlets are going to be busy. And you're going to want to find some way to keep your phone charged and reach out to, you know, your loved ones in case you are needing a ride. Or if you are the ride, something you do not want to forget is your keys. Your keys are important. They will help you get from, you know, your tournament to wherever. And this is like a spare uh, spare key of mine to my car. So that being said, yes, bring your phone charger. Now, something else that you're going to want to bring, uh, you're going to be at the event for an hour or so, maybe longer, several hours. You're going to want to bring some food and not only some food, but some drinks. Sometimes at events, you can go off and buy food and drinks, but sometimes you're gonna wanna save that money, especially if you're going to like a huge tournament um, and you travel for or some other thing. You're gonna wanna bring your own food. At least that's my philosophy. There are some times where I will buy, you know, food there, but you know, I always try to come prepared. But with that being said, you're gonna wanna buy food and drink, especially drink. You know, because sometimes you're going to want to keep up, you know, your mental fuel. So food and drink does help. So next, a lot of people don't think about this and they go like, duh, it's a tournament. Why would you forget uh, your cards? Now, you're going to want to bring your cards to a card game event. Shocker. I know. But believe it or not, a lot of people do forget. So in every single one of my deck boxes that I have here, for example, they all have the, my cards and they're all sleeved. And as you can see, this is my Screamer Proxy. Very much in love with this one. I'm going to get some officially printed style ones soon. Um, I'm super excited for that. So I have not only two decks right here, both of them are sleeved, but I also have four decks and these big towers. Now, the reason why I'm showing these two off is if you come to an event, typically you're going to want to bring you know, your decks that you're going to be playing with, but sometimes you're going to want to bring extra cards in case you decide to get... or I guess you don't really decide this, but you might get burnt out for sure. I believe it. Um, you're going to want to bring, you know, extra cards, whether it's for another game or a different deck that you want to play just for testing in the future. So these each hold one deck and these two each hold two decks a piece. I'm going to quickly yeah, 
get that out. As you guys can see, bam, there's two decks right there, and there's going to be two decks in this one. But something else you're going to want to bring, and usually you'll bring these in a separate container, unless you have a deck box like this, where the bottom compartment, if you ah, crack that open, bam, is your dice. Um, I have these dice for whenever I play Warhammer with my friends. Uh, yeah, so you're going to want to bring dice because those will be your counters. Sometimes it's your energy count. Sometimes people use them for life points, etc., etc., to represent a number. You can bring a 20-sided dice. You can bring a 6-sided dice, 10-sided dice, 12-sided dice. You name it. Bring whatever dice you want, but do bring dice or tokens of some sort. Especially when you're trying to determine who goes first, who goes second. For here, though, I obviously have different colored dice. I wish I had blue dice for this one. That would have been cool. But, like, you and your opponent can each have, like, a special dice, like, to roll for, like, you know, heads or tails. Like, heads could be an even number, uh, tails will be an odd, etc., etc. You could come up with weird arbitrary things to utilize dice for, but I find them to be extremely handy, especially in a tournament scene. People are going to be asking to borrow dice, and you're going to want to you're going to want to be that cool guy and have multiple dice. I'm the kind of person that if somebody needs dice, I'll always always provide them. Now, something else you're going to want to bring with cards. You're going to want to protect these cards. Some of these tables are dirty AF. So what you're going to want to bring with you is some sleeves. Now, both of these are the Pro Mat Eclipse sleeves. Uh, this is a 100-pack. This is a 50-pack. This used to be in a 100-pack, and I've sleeved most of my cards with Ultra Pro. If not, I use Katana sleeves because Katana sleeves are a bit higher end in the price range, but the pricing scale, sorry, the price scale. But the difference is quality. Now, sometimes... You can either pick up, you know, transparent sleeves. You can pick up, you know, multiple colored sleeves. Um, you know, there's no shortage in what you should and shouldn't bring in terms of sleeves. Oh, by the way, the reason why I swapped out with the purple sleeves, as you guys can see, that weird little lip right there. You see that? That little son of a gun right there? Yeah. I ain't putting up with it. I want to have smooth sleeves because sometimes shuffle feel can be, get all messed up. Sometimes other things can be messed up. And some people can accuse you of cheating and that won't look good. So you're going to want all the backs of your sleeves to be nice, healthy, not covered in dirt or anything like that. As you can see, all my sleeves here are pretty freaking clean. I like all my sleeves. Uh, you're going to want to make sure the shuffle feel is good with this one. Very clear, very nice. So my personal recommendation, I've also been recommended other sleeves, but for me personally, if you want to go and have sleeves that work and are decently priced, go with Promat Eclipses. Otherwise, I was also recommended Dragon Sleeves, Dragon Shield Sleeves. Um, I don't really know about those considering I've never owned Dragon Sleeves before. I'm told that they're great, so I'll take their word for it. With my Chaotic Sleeves, I have them in Chaotic Ultra Pro Sleeves. Those are not the best, per se, for play, but at the same time, you can just do what I do and mark out the inside of the sleeve, not the outside of the sleeve, because you don't want people accusing you of you know, cheating and what have you. So you can take your sleeve and you can mark the bottom just like that. And then you'll be good to go. You know, nothing complicated. And plus, you know, sometimes there are people who will pull really good cards. They don't have sleeves. You want to be a good guy, loan them a sleeve. It's not going to kill you. They're like 10 cents each depending on, or even 6 cents or 5 cents, a single sleeve. They're really cheap, guys. So be good to one another. And be good to your cards. Um, uh, the next item on the list, which is your mat your play mat and you're gonna to want to have it in a mat tube um yeah so go figure tables are uh, very dirty and you're gonna to want to have something to protect your cards and as well as kind of flashy so for me i have a very common you know tube case uh which is where you stick your you know mat in to conserve space now this one has like a rubber end and the way you would peel that off you know just like that and you know Stick your fingers in there, pull it out, what have you. Um, and then you would just reseal it just like that. Nice and easy. 
Now you're gonna wanna bring these. These are relatively cheap. You know, a lot of people say, oh, they're required. But in my opinion, I sort of agree with that statement, but I also won't bash somebody if they don't have a play mat, you know? It's not a big deal, at least not to me. So, and if you ask me, last but not least, and certainly not the least, especially in today's world, you're gonna want some hand sanitizer. Now, some people will have greamy, grice, greasy, dirty hands, and you don't want diseases or anything like that, especially with the cough cough going around. Um, you're gonna want to, you know, clean your hands and make sure your opponent has clean hands. Always offer, always offer your opponent some hand sanitizer. Um, do not let them squirt it themselves. You're going to want to reach over and give them, you know, a squirt. Um, as I drop a huge glob of it on my mat. Lovely, lovely. Well, this mat in and of itself is like my laptop mat and I use my mouse on it and I eat on it and stuff. I know I shouldn't, but that's why I have a separate mat for play. So... With that being said, that is all the things you should bring with you to an event. Food, drink, you're gonna wanna have your phone, your charger, your keys, but if you don't have keys, you're gonna wanna bring uh, something to help you get in contact with somebody who could give you a ride. Your wallet slash money so you can get in the tournament. Also, something else I failed to mention, your personal ID, because a lot of these events are gonna wanna find out you are who you say you are. And you're gonna wanna bring your decks, uh, your deck box, don't put them in a baggie or a rubber band. We're in better times now. We could get cheaper deck boxes to actually have nice storage for your case, for your decks and all that fun stuff. You're going to want your dice and something to carry your dice in. Sometimes you could get that with, uh, you know, your deck boxes. Then you're going to want to bring your sleeves, just in case. And your mat, your mat tube, something to hold your mat inside. You don't want your mat ruined either. And of course, hand sanitizer. That is 13, count them, 13 things you should bring with you to a tournament. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have something you wanna say, let me know in the comments down below. If there's something you bring with you to a tournament, let me know, because I'm curious, because I try to bring all these things with me, and I know I seem overprepared in a lot of events, but a lot of people also say I'm underprepared. So I'm curious where this falls in between overprepared and underprepared. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.